What is one of the biggest problems with automation? Well, that is making sure that every part at the end of the day is to tolerance. Well, I'm here with Steve at the first MTA to find out how they have brought a brand new solution to market. So Steve, what solution have you brought and can you talk us through it? We've designed and patented a new system. So if you think of a, a gripper head on a robot arm, you can take off, remove from machine. It's fine, you can run, but you could still get numerous hours of scrap. So we've designed a new system to measuring gripper head. So this will measure the component as it's been removed from the machine. You can then sort, use an SPC method, or report directly back to the machine and adjust the offsets. We've got the internal measurement one here, which will do just one diameter on the internal part of a tube. Uh, our external measuring gripper can measure two or three diameters and a length using a master set of jaws. So we'll make a comparator, as you were with other measurement systems, a comparator, measure from that, that then tolerances the machine. And then as you can see from here, we can guarantee an eight micron tolerance for the measuring gripper. So then really, if you're going home for the weekend or you're running through the week, you know that at the end of the day, you're going to have a box of finished parts that are too tolerant and not to scrap. So how does, the, how does this, or how does the gripper, should I say, communicate with the machine to make sure the machine knows exactly what's going on? Yeah, it purely depends on how we integrate to the machine. So you can either report back to just a computer system and run an SBC, or we can fully integrate with the machine so the machine tool manufacturer will integrate through a different system into the machine. It will report back and adjust different offsets in the machine. But that is machine specific, depending on which manufacturer. Well then to me that that brings over your technical expertise yes. that you've not just designed and painted this, but you've also dealt with the machine tool manufacturers as well to make sure this will all work together. Yes, yeah. We we make sure the whole process is there. So once it's mated to a robot, whether it's one of ours, the Holmes system, or whether it's somebody else's, we can fit the robot head to it and then leak that to each manufacturer. So we have a good relationship with all the OEMs so we know what coding we need to do to go through each of the systems. That will save your customers time and money. Yes. Because A, they don't have to rerun part after part after part to get it right, but also it's saving them money because they don't have to buy so much more material to run through that machine to make sure they have finished parts. Yes, completely. And there's, there's one other side where you can just unload, but if you do have a complex, expensive part, once the auto door opener's got in, your robot can go in and just check maybe a final journal diameter or a length. And if it is incorrect and you don't want to just put it away, if it's oversized, you can come back out, finish machine that part, and then remove it. Right, okay, so this then will take out and all of using a CMM because like you just said that will go in and measure it and if it's not quite right tell the machine and then the machine will go back in and finish it to make sure it's complete. Yeah if a component is out of tolerance the robot arm can just eject the part into a scrap bin but if it is a real expensive complex part you can take the arm out refinish the component and then take the component out of salt so when you come back in the morning, your inspection can do a spot inspection rather than the full inspection. So you're not losing any time or money of components. So you should only lose probably one or two components and then you fit an offset. Well, Steve, I'd just like to say a big thank you to you for, and for your time here at Southern Manufacturing Electronics. This product is obviously, it's brand new. And how much time and money it could save customers Really, it should be on the forefront of everybody's minds. It should be, really. It, say, it, it, it is something different. <laughs>